it's Amanda Jane Clarkson and this is G'day Gorgeous, a lifestyle channel for women who dare to live their dreams and a channel for women who would love to gain more clarity, more confidence and more certainty and take control of their life in all the seven areas. And those areas include your love life, your health, your relationships, your vocation, money, happiness and personal growth and what I want to share with you today is three tips on how to manage your money on minimum wage so you'll definitely need a journal or something to write on because what I'm going to share with you is will literally change your life and this is what changed my life from being broke with no money no idea to be able to save my money through a forced savings plan which I want to share with you in a moment to over time being able to have more money than uh, left over at the end of my month instead of more month left over at the end of my money. So write this down, tip number one. I believe everything starts with the dream and it doesn't matter what your minimum wage is. It could be $300 a week, it could be $500 a week, it might be a thousand, it might be even more, it doesn't matter. But what I believe is the most important thing is, no matter where you're beginning from, it all starts with the dream. And so the very first thing I did back in my younger years was think about my life and the dreams that I had and what, did I want, what I wanted my life to look like in all the different areas of my life. And from that, I started to collect pictures and I created what I call a vision board. Now, these days I have a digital vision a digital vision board on my phone but back in those days I used to have a scrapbook filled with amazing pictures and images of what I wanted my life to look like how much money I wanted to have the home I wanted to live in the health I wanted the different relationships I wanted to create the job all those things that each of us dream about and of course your dreams will be different than mine and I think that way, when you have images and you have dreams that you want to achieve in your lifetime, it's so much easier to be able to manage your money each and every week because it gives you something to look forward to. So that's step number one. Step number two is now what I call a wealth plan or you might want to call it a rich plan or a success plan. Some people call it a forced savings plan but I don't want to use the word forced because I want you to think about your money like it's something that can grow in time and it will. So what I did was set up a savings account and I called it my wealth plan. And each and every week, no matter how much money came in, I put a portion away into my wealth plan, into a bank account, a special one first. So in other words, I paid myself first. Now, I always say at least 10% of your income goes into your wealth plan and just bank it in there and whatever is left, then you start to manage that money and think about where it goes and write down all the reasons and the ways that you can save your money and start to put it where it grows. So very first thing I do, 10% into my wealth plan and the rest of the money gets divvied up where it needs to go. Now this sounds easy, sometimes it's not easy, I know, but here's the thing. When you start to put money into your wealth plan each week into a special bank account, you see it grow. And in your mind, you know that that money is going towards your hopes, your goals and your dreams in time. I mean, for me, it was a home and my special dream home was a 20 year plan, but I had a lot of smaller goals that I could reach in between. And so it's very important that you have your goals and your dreams written down and on a vision board so that you can keep an eye on them because otherwise it can be really hard to save your money and then split your funds up and spread it out where it needs to go step number three I hope you're writing this down it's really important because this is the most important step of all your financial mindset you see here's the thing 
the more money you start to save and pop away into your wealth account over time, you'll start to think differently. You'll start to feel differently about managing your money. And you know, this is about creating a wealthy mindset, not just a wealth account, but a wealthy mindset that matches. Uh, and the more that you'll end up creating because you'll start to think of different ways to increase your money savings. You'll start to think of new and wonderful ideas on how to make more money. And here's what I know from my own experience. You are your best asset. And it's important that you take notice of how you feel about money, what your language is about money, what your attitude is around money, because this is not about just trying to for savings, it's trying to create that wealth mindset. So that as time goes by, and it might take a little while, it took me quite a few years, but I started to think differently. Instead of feeling like I was just on a minimum wage, I started to feel more worthy, I started to build more confidence, my self-esteem increased because each and every week I was watching my wealth plan grow into a lot more money than when I first began. So this is just the first three steps and over time throughout these videos I'm going to share with you many wealth strategies because even though I started on a minimum wage and maybe you're beginning on a minimum wage, I can share with you from my own experience and my own results that in time you can grow your assets and you can become wealthy whatever that looks and feels like for you in all these seven areas so if you found this video valuable why not hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified each and every week when I bring out more videos because next week I'm going to go into part two of creating wealth and building your money up so that you can eventually or even sooner than you think live your life by design not default so if you found this valuable please as I said subscribe and share this video with your other girlfriends who you know would love to go from feeling frustrated to feeling and becoming fabulously successful in all seven areas of life. Till next week, be bold, be courageous and be fabulous. That's what I like to say. I'm Amanda Jane and I will see you next week. Bye.